Applying the word means your life. Applying the word means you were chosen to be a vessel of light, not a vessel of darkness. And if that light doesn't start filling your body to where you start on your way to about an 80-20 flesh, uh, spirit flesh ratio, then you will be left behind. You're waiting for the fairy godmother dressed up as Jesus to come tap you on the head and no, you're suddenly in your glorified Barney. When he says the kingdom is now, I raise you up for a purpose. It's not your purpose, but you are chosen to be vessels of light. Paul says, we will be like the angels. How true. They are vessels of light. What do they do? They go to and fro into this world and out. They are not purely flesh, but mostly spirit beings who might appear The book of Revelation tells us that we are to be at the throne of God. We will be a multitude singing a song at the throne of God. Where are, is that multitude? They left from this world. But they are re to return. What kind of beings would they be? Well, what are they? They are vessels of light. A vessel of light does not fight with a fallen angel. Repeat. A vessel of light does not fight with a fallen angel. A vessel of light reminds the angel of his fallen condition. And the angel flies in fear and highly um, self-conscious and selfish, narcissistic, prideful, fearful, sickly, and runs to hide so that he can keep on living in his 3D nightmare where the fallen angel has usurped the power of the human to justify their feeble existences which have no purpose other than the purpose of God's hand in applying uh, creation uh, to a battle of light versus dark, good versus bad, to a dualistic world that serves a purpose of uh, physical density so that beings can come here and do things they could not do as spirit beings. Free will choice, for example. These are things angels cannot do. Free will choice. Yeah, but Lucifer and the rebellion, wasn't that free will choice? Here's my take on it. God engineered that for the purpose of creating this world exactly as you see it. Because God's intention could not be met. His creation could not be complete, which you don't know his creation because this is not his finished product, if you will. So he could not actually finish his creation in his, to his satisfaction without creating a physical realm for souls to come through and souls complete a task here on their way to either becoming a vessel of light or a vessel of darkness. Or as Daniel said, there's like a great divide. There is either, there is either uh, as in the book of Daniel, everlasting Eternal joy. Uh, let me explain just before that. In Acts 12, 7, it says, here's an angel of light. Um, the Lord came upon uh, Peter and uh, shined, uh, and a light shined in the prison, okay? The actual light of the being. And he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, arise up quickly, and his chains fell off from his hands. This is an angel of the Lord. And... Uh, and elsewhere it says in uh, uh, in 2 Corinthians uh, eleven fourteen it says, No marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an agent of light. 
an angel, I'm sorry, an angel of light, as you know, as you know, the famous, um, the, uh, the famous uh, term. Satan can transform himself into an angel of light, meaning the, uh, you will see light like you would see with other angels, like a vessel of light. Interestingly enough, Lucifer is considered to be the name is the light bringer, the light. But he's not the true light. There's, there's a term called the true light. And this is Christ. But further to that, John 17 confirms every one of his people is the true light. Every one of his people is the word. Every one of his people is the I am. See, which could not happen unless you were also transformed into a vessel of light. Capable of, well, there's no death in that realm. But I mean, there are people that are actually on their way to becoming that now. The flesh is becoming weak. In other words, the, 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 uh, the adherence to the 3D realm is falling away. Because there is no... When you discover... And these points are very esoteric, so it's, I'm putting it to you in the best comic book fashion I can for all of our sanity. <laughs> On the way... Well, okay, let's just put it this way. The agents of light and the agents of darkness battle it out. Light and dark sustain a reality that we have. The reality is necessary that we have for you to be born into a physical realm, for you to identify with the physical flesh, which is a very slow-moving, dense thing, okay? And doesn't know very much. Has been cut off from supernatural powers, okay? Cut off from clairvoyance, psychic abilities, uh, the ability to move objects with your mind, levitation. All these are kind of natural, walking through walls, whatever you want to say. Okay, that would be all. We're just dealing with, with no, we're not dealing with magic or a TV show here. But this is just like normal supernatural stuff that beings are engaged in, beings that are not, say, of this world at this point. And we've all heard stories of how there'd be an angel there suddenly fixing something because we have guardian angels. We need guardian angels or you, you and I would have been killed a long time ago had we not had a guardian angel. I have to have a whole flock of them to get me through because I mean, otherwise I wouldn't be here right now. Because a lot of times I'm like Mr. Magoo thinking I heard one thing, I stumble into the wall, I break my knee, I, I do this, I do that. I ricochet one way, I ricochet another. I think I got it going on, but only to fall all the way back down to the bottom. Then I rise up to the top and 